three words summarize what we will hear today from Luke's eschatological discourse. And those words are first, impermanence, second is signs, and third is fearlessness. The disciples are taken up with the grandeur of the temple. The disciples are amazed with the stonework, with the artistry, with the architecture. And they look at this beautiful external building and they say, Lord, what a beautiful building. And the Lord responds by telling them that it is impermanent. Surely it is beautiful. Surely the beauty must be enjoyed. Surely the beauty must be appreciated. But even as we do that, we keep in mind that it is impermanent. As a matter of fact, everything that we see around us is impermanent, is temporary and passing away. But very rarely do we realize this. And the Lord says, the end of everything will come. And so the disciples are anxious. Which brings us to the second point. They want to know what are the signs that this will happen. And the signs are given every moment. The signs are given in my mortal body. The signs are given in the construction, the building that I see around me. The signs are given about my mortality and the mortality of the world everywhere. If I cannot see it. It is not because there are no signs. If I cannot see it, it is because I have closed my mind and heart. It is because I do not want to see. It is because I believe in my own immortality here on earth and the immortality of all I possess. And in his response to what the signs are, the Lord says, the signs are constantly being given. My body has changed since my youth. My body will change if I am a youth and that is a sign of my mortality. My ancestors have all left this earth and gone to God. Buildings which existed millions of years ago are no longer in existence today. Those are the signs which are given to us of this which is impermanent and temporary. And the third, the Lord says, no matter what, if you are true to yourself, then you can be sure that you do not need to be afraid, and so the Lord advocates fearlessness. In the play Hamlet by William Shakespeare, Hamlet is discussing with his friend Horatio, and in one of the dialogues with Horatio, father has with Polonius, says, This above all, to thine own self be true, and it must follow as night the day. Thou canst then be false to anyone. If you are true to yourself, then you will never be false to anyone. And not only will you continue to be true, you will be fearless. Because you are true to yourself. And so the Lord is inviting us in the reading of today. To first of all realize that we are impermanent and so is everything around us. And that is why we live now as if it were the last moment of my life. The Lord is asking me to look around and see the signs of my mortality. And the mortality of everything around me is constantly being given to me. And even in the midst of my mortality, 
I am fearless because I am true to myself. Are you frightened of what is going to happen in the future? If you are, will you make preparations for your future now?